From NBC 40 News, this is Forum 40. Hi, I'm Robin Stoloff. Welcome to Forum 40. Let's face it, we all have some areas of our lives that may need some extra attention. We might need to eat a little healthier and make better food choices. Or maybe our closets or kitchen cabinets could use some organizing. And how about our wardrobe, makeup, and overall appearance? Today's show is all about you. Living better, feeling better, and looking better. We'll meet three local experts that can help us get going in the right direction. Starting from the inside out, our first guest is here to talk about ways we can all eat healthier and stay focused on making better food choices. Nutritionist Stacy Veneman offers mm -hmm. personalized nutritional counseling for children all the way through seniors. Through her experience, she understands ways to incorporate a healthy lifestyle for all ages and all homes. Thank you for joining us, Stacey. Thank this you. This is a topic that I wish they really focus more on in school because mm -hmm. everyone needs to know about it. It, mm -hmm. it affects our health. Our food that we eat is, uh, is our fuel. And um, I just want to know if you could give a general overview. What are some quick ways people can make some changes to improve their diet? Well, some of the most basic and easiest ways that you can change your diet is to get rid of processed foods, to try to eat whole natural foods, not to buy all the snacks and the chips and the bars and the shakes. Try to just get back to fruits, vegetables, meats, proteins, and, and whole clean foods. I do want to make a point that eating healthier does take an effort because it's easy to eat unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Fast food, packaged foods are quick, easy, and cheap. So we have to make that effort. How does a person get that mindset? Well, I always tell someone it's just as quick to grab a banana as it is a donut. It really is. So you need to really start thinking in terms of fruits, vegetables. They come prepackaged and ready to go. Just in their like, own packaging. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> right. I love that. That's great. So talking about you know our food choices and what we buy and our mm -hmm. cabinets and our refrigerator, mm -hmm. what do you suggest we do about that? Well, the first thing is try to get rid of any refined sugars, carbohydrates, white flour products and clean that all out. Try to replace those with whole grains, complex carbohydrates, um, nice, you know, ancient grains, things like that. And there's so much information online too that there's really no excuse for not knowing any of this information. If you need to know what whole grains are, if you need best food choices, there's a thousand and one websites and areas exactly. to go. Is Absolutely. there anything in particular that you would recommend? Um, you know that that you that you follow or tell people to follow. Well, there, there's many websites out there. I get asked a lot for recipes. A lot of people see things in the in the store and they really don't know how to prepare it or what to do. And some of my favorite websites are EatingWell.com, mm -hmm. uh, CookingLight.com is another one, and they have fantastic recipes. You can type in ingredients or just what's in your fridge, and they'll come up with something really healthy That's and quick. Terrific, and it just takes a little bit, little bit of pre-planning. You don't have to spend your whole right. day on it, but just a little pre-planning. Now, what about organic? There's always mm -hmm. quite questions about that, organic and natural, and they're two different things. So we should make that point. Absolutely. Organic and natural are two very different things. Really, uh, according to the labels, natural really doesn't uh, carry a lot of weight. It doesn't really mean a whole lot. Organic is very strictly regulated, and there is a list called the Dirty Dozen of the most contaminated fruits and vegetables. And I always recommend to my clients that if you do nothing else to at least purchase uh, fruits and vegetables that are organic that are on the Dirty Dozen list. Give me just a few that are on the Dirty Dozen. Uh, strawberries, apples, peaches, lettuces, spinach, that's, celery. That's yeah. some of the most common. Yes. So they can uh, be full of pesticides if you don't get them organic? Exactly, oh. exactly. And then you also have to think in terms of byproducts from those. Uh, for instance, grapes are on the list. Well, raisins would also then fall in that category. Oh, okay, absolutely. So that's that's a very important point. So I think we'll put that list where we have put that list up. Yeah. Um, are there certain foods to start your day off? I know breakfast is so important, and there are actually people that I know that don't eat breakfast, which I could never, ever do. I'm hungry yeah. when I wake up, and I feel I need that fuel for my day, and that is an important part of the day, isn't it? Absolutely. Breakfast is so, so important, um, and it really is important to get it off to a good start as well. Even if you can just grab something um, quick and easy, you know, a Greek yogurt or um, a hard-boiled egg, it's better than nothing. You feel you know, your body, you've been asleep, you wake up, you're, you're sort of dehydrated, you haven't had anything right. to drink for a while, so it's good to start at least, I would imagine, with a, a glass of water. I always try to do that. Absolutely. And 
and also make sure you get some fuel in your body because that means you haven't eaten since dinner the night before. Right. You're not eating till lunch. If you think about how long your body's going, mm -hmm. and then your body starts to hold on to fat stores. Is that correct? Correct. Well, your metabolism stays in a suppressed uh, state, and you really need that fuel in the morning to get it jump started again. Absolutely. You don't want to teach your body that oh, it's sort of starving itself that you're not eating. So we want to hold on to that fat. Exactly. Eating actually can keep your metabolism. I love that. <laughs> that uh, that's the best part of it. Help. Exactly. And it really really truly does. Of course, and of course with exercise as well. We have to say that. Yes. I can never do a segment on nutrition without saying it goes hand in hand with, with some sort of activity, whether mm -hmm. you want to call it exercising or taking a walk or riding a right. bike, whatever you do. It's just so important to include that as part of your, your weekly routine at least a few times a week. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, of <laughs> course. Although everyone says food is what, about 90% of your weight loss? It truly is. Mm -hmm. I think we've all seen those people, you know, in the gyms are working out and they're there every day and they just don't ever really seem to change their body and that's really where, uh, you know, diet and nutrition right. come into play. I mean, play. they're staying healthy, they're working their heart and right. lungs, but if you're talking about weight loss, exactly, really the diet is key. Absolutely, I know that from years ago training for a lot of different competitions I was in. Um, talking about snacks, snacks are tough yes. because mm -hmm. sometimes, especially around three o'clock, your blood sugar oh, starts yes. to drop after lunch, you're still working mm -hmm. in your day. Really easy for people to sort of lose it then and just eat whatever is available. What right. do you recommend? I always tell everyone, try to have a snack that includes a little protein, uh, a little fat, and maybe a fruit or a vegetable. So something like an apple and some peanut butter or uh, some nuts and baby carrots would be a great snack. And just always remember portion control. A snack is not a meal, and a snack shouldn't, you know, turn into, uh, you know, an all an hour long uh, food right. fast. Don't need four <laughs> tablespoons not, of the peanut exactly. butter. Exactly. You kind of lose the whole point of it. Right. Measure your portions and, and pay attention to how much you're eating at a snack. How time. many times a day should you be eating, including snacks? I, I generally tell people, depending on their lifestyle and what they're doing, to try to not go more than three or four hours in a day without eating. So just structure your day around your lifestyle from when you get up in the morning. So it could be a meal, a snack, a meal, a snack. Sort of just keep keep it, feeding your body. Exactly. It keeps your blood sugar stable. It keeps you from overeating uh, later in the day. And it, it improves mood and energy levels as well. I know something that I try to do, I don't always do it, but I try to do is bring my lunch or my food to work. Mm -hmm. Because then I'm not tempted to either go out to eat and eat right. something unhealthy or eat something unhealthy, you know, at my office. Is that a good tip for people? Fantastic. I always recommend whenever possible, pack your own food, bring your own snacks. First of all, you're prepared you're not at the mercy of a vending machine or, or a restaurant that may not have a very healthy choice. And second of all, what you pack from home most of the time is going to be healthier than what you purchase out anyway. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You've done your portion control. Mm -hmm. And a great way to do it is that my husband and I, we cook on Sundays. Right. And then we have it for the week. So a great way to do it is just to have that. Fill up your containers and you have it for work and it's easier. But I can't emphasize enough, and I think you agree, mm -hmm. pre-planning is the key. Yes. You, you really should try to think it out for the week. Exactly. And that's the best way to, to eat a healthier diet. Plan, pack, and prepare. I always teach my clients the three P's. Plan, pack, and, re and prepare your foods. That. <laughs> That's a great note to end on, and we appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Nutritionist Stacey Benman with some mm -hmm. wonderful tips. Mm -hmm. And there are so many small steps we can take in the right direction toward a well-balanced, substantial diet. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate, again, all your help, Stacey. Coming up yes. next, we will discuss a little more than just our cabinets and mm -hmm. how to organize them. I'm Robin Stoloff. Stay with us.